Welcome back to Rapid Ghost. In the final section of this series, we will cover in depth the process of creating and managing posts on our blog. By the end of this first video, we will know how to mark up and style our post using Markdown. Most content management systems will have you write your post using a WYSIWYG editor. Ghost simplifies this by letting you write in Markdown, leaving the styling of your content up to your theme and its style sheet. Let's learn a little bit more about Markdown by visiting whatismarkdown.com. We see right away that it says Markdown means that your website is being built correctly by professionals. I like the way that sounds. The fourth paragraph says, bottom line, people who edit content should focus on the words and the designer should make them pretty. This is part of the ghost philosophy that we talked about earlier in the course. All you need to do is worry about writing engaging content. Before we can do this though, we need to learn how to mark up our posts with Markdown. Markup is the equivalent to if you were structuring your content using HTML. Instead, we are using Markdown a language designed for marking up content. Let's log into our blog to get started writing in Markdown. After we are logged in, let's click on the green button to create a new post that we can practice writing our Markdown in. A great thing about writing your post inside of Ghost is the nice preview of your content on the right side of the screen. Let's start off with creating different headings. So every hashtag that is added denotes which type of heading it is. One hashtag is an H1. These are usually for page titles. Three hashtags would be an H3 tag, which is usually used for subheadings inside of your post. We can create unordered lists in our post by marking each item with an asterisk. and an ordered list by making it with the number followed by a period. You can create links in your post by using the direct address. If you want to add an anchor tag to the link, wrap the anchor text in square brackets and wrap the address in regular parentheses. We add images to our post the same way, except that you will add an explanation point before it. Also, if you find it easier, you can use regular HTML image tag to include the image. You can add blocks of code to your post by denoting it with four spaces. You can add dividers to your post by adding three dashes. And finally, you can make text bold by wrapping it with two asterisks or italic by wrapping it with one. Ghost Markdown doesn't have support for tables, but you can still include them by marking them up as regular HTML. That's all we need to know to get started marking up our content with Markdown. To help reinforce what we learned in this chapter, we will write our first blog post in the next video.